Dear student, Namaste. You are welcome to an English class of grade 10, unit 8. Do you have your English textbook? Please be ready with your English textbook. And today, we will be talking about a reading comprehension. And the title of the reading comprehension is Okay, common hobbies and interest. Did you find this title in your textbook? So please be ready with the textbook and find this title on the reading one. Getting started, look at the pictures and talk about the hobbies of the people. Dear student, can you see some picture here? Yes, of course. So, can you identify the first and second picture? What do you see in the first picture? Can you guess it? Yes, you are right. A boy is painting a picture. And what do you see in the second picture? There are three people and they are playing madal, musical instrument and singing a song. In this first picture, you may guess now, a very smart boy is painting a picture. He is busy in drawing or painting. But in this picture, you may guess, this man is playing madal. It is a musical instrument and she is dancing over here and the man is singing a song. Is it all right? Yes. So what do, what do we do when we have leisure time, when we are free? Sometime, somebody, we people, paint the picture, we play the music, or we play musical instrument, or something others, isn't it? So, today we will be talking about the hobbies and interest of different people. Now, let's watch the video. Dear student, I have downloaded this video from YouTube. Are you all ready to watch this video? Okay, here we go. What are your hobbies and interests? Listening to music. I love to sing while listening to music. Camping. I like camping out and summer holidays. Painting. I love painting with watercolors. Taking photos. I like taking photos of places and nature. Jogging. I like jogging in the Central Park. Playing tennis. I enjoy playing tennis with my friends. Diving. I like diving for sunken treasure. Dancing. I love dancing to hip-hop music. Playing the guitar. I like playing the guitar. I'm having so much fun. Reading books. I like reading books in the library. Drawing. I like drawing. It makes me so happy. Watching TV. I like watching TV with my mom. Cooking. I like cooking for my parents. Singing. I like singing to pop music. 
Playing games. I love playing games with my father. Swimming. I like swimming in the pool. Playing football. I like playing football with my teammates. Playing basketball. I like playing basketball after class. Riding a bicycle. I like riding a bicycle at the farm. Playing golf. I like playing golf because it's so much fun. Playing chess. I love playing chess. It's challenging. Hiking. I enjoy hiking. You can have so many wonderful adventures. Fishing. I enjoy fishing. It's so relaxing. Jo Dear student, I believe you watched the video. Did you watch the video? Yes, of course. In the video, people have different interests, people have different hobbies. You may find out some people are interested in playing chess, some are interested in playing football, some are very much happy to work in the kitchen, and some other people also have different hobbies. If you just talk about the hobbies of yours, and ours sometimes, we may have different hobbies, and we may have different interests. So, people have different hobbies and interests. Interest and hobbies are not same. Isn't it? Yes. Now let's see some pictures again. What do you see in this picture? Can you identify this picture? Yes, of course. This is a very, very adventurous picture and a man is paragliding over here. So what is his hobby? The hobbies of this person is paragliding. Do you like paragliding? Yes, but it is adventurous. Next one. What do you see in this sec second picture? Yes, of course. A goal is planting the flowers. So what is her hobby? Her hobby is to plant the flowers or plants. Similarly, in the third picture, what do you see in the third picture? Can you guess? Yes, of course. A girl is reading. So what is her hobby? Reading is her hobby. So now, answer the following questions related to reading one day student. If you turn the pages of your book, you may find these two questions. Can one of you read A? Question A, what are the common hobbies people often practice? Very simple answer. You may answer very easily. So some people practice cooking as their common hobby. Some people, they are busy and jogging. Some people, they are paragliding, for example. Some people, they love reading the books, for example. Some people, they adore writing some poems and stories, for example. Yes or no? You may answer, you may write the answer in this way. Similarly, what is your hobby? Why did you choose it? Now, you can say your one hobby. Your hobby may be reading, your hobby may be watching movie, watching televisions, 
playing games and uh, playing with musical instrument and so on. And why did you cho choose it? You may choose your hobby to have joy, to feel recreation, to learn some ideas. Why do we read the books? Of course, we read the books to learn new things, to expand our knowledge. Isn't it? You may write in this way. Now, reading one common hobbies, this is what we are going to learn and discuss today. It's a reading comprehension. Are you all ready to uh, read and, and discuss? Very good. Now let us read the first and second paragraph of this reading comprehension, common hobbies. Hobbies are not just a form of entertainment, they are also great for igniting our creativity and discovering some of our hidden talents. Choosing a hobby for yourself can be a challenging task. Although you want a hobby that is interesting to you, you may also want one that can be enjoyed with friends. So, dear students, I have highlighted one word. And do you know the meaning of this word? And can you pronounce this word? Igniting. Please follow up to me. Igniting. So, what is the meaning of igniting? Trigger, spark, excite. You may see in the picture. See? This picture is sparking. So, igniting. So, what are the benefits of common hobbies? Sometimes we entertain with the common hobbies, not only entertaining, but also common hobbies supports us, sparks us to develop and enhance our creativity and discovering our hidden talents. It is not just for fun only. It supports us to enhance our creativity and discovering new things. So, this is what I have summarized the first and second paragraph in this way. One of you can read it. Hobby is a minor pursuit outside one's regular occupation or day-to-day -day activity. We have our one regular occupation, but beyond this, hobby is another thing. We enjoy beyond the regular activities. It ignites our creativity and discovers the person's hidden talents. It creates an environment to discover our one hidden talents. This is what the main ideas of first and second paragraph of reading one. Now, let us go to the next paragraph. Some people enjoy spending their free time outdoors, fishing, camping, hunting and hiking, while others prefer to be indoors reading a good book or browsing online courses to hone their skills. Again, you may find one more difficult words which are highlighted with a red color. Can one of you pronounce the word hone? What is the meaning of hone? See, uh, what do you see in this picture? Of course, someone is fishing. And what do you see in this picture? Of course, some people are hunting. They are in the jungle. They are searching something else. And what is in the third picture? And in the third picture, people are enjoying and hiking. Okay? And the meaning of hone is smooth, sharp, make sharp. This is what? Hone. So, when we talk about 
uh, the third paragraph of this reading text. Dear student, we summarize this paragraph in this way. There are basically two types of hobbies. Some people, they are crazy on outdoor activities and some other are interested in indoor activities. Hobbies can be categorized basically into two types. Outdoor activities, when we do something outside of our home, they are known as outdoors. When we do something inside our home, they are known as indoors. What do you think? See, fishing, of course, it is an outdoor activity. We do this activity outside of our home. Camping, of course, this is also an outdoor activity. Hunting also, we cannot hunt the animals uh, sitting inside the home. Similarly, hiking, yes, this is also an outdoor activities. And indoor activities, reading books, and then browsing online courses. Sometimes uh, we do reading uh, as the outdoor activities also. But basically, reading is the indoor activities as well. So, some people, they are crazy with doing outdoor and indoor activities. So, fishing, camping, hunting, hiking and many more, they are outdoor activities, outdoor common uh, hobbies and then reading books, browsing online courses, for example, watching televisions. They are known as indoor common hobbies or activities. Are you with me? Yes. Now, the next paragraph. The popularity of these hobbies differs around the world. Yes. Based on individual preferences and cultural influences. The popularity of common hobbies, they differ around the world. They are not similar. For example, I prefer one activity may not be similar what you prefer and what other people also prefer, right? And it is differ on the basis of cultural inspiration and cultural influences as well. For example, while fishing is the most prevalent hobby in England. Whereas, hiking is the must in demand hobby in China. Look at. So, hobbies can be differ on the basis of individual preferences as well as cultural influences as well. For example, let us say uh, fishing is the most common hobby of British people, for example, people who live in England. Whereas, Hiking is the must in demand hobby, the people who live in China. The following are the most common hobbies practiced around the world. The best aspect of these hobbies is that you can do most of them without spending a lot of money. We don't need any money. When we uh, do and when we practice our hobbies, Furthermore, those that, are, that require learning are easy to master. See, prevalent, the meaning of prevalent, widely accepted, practiced, favored, common or usual. These are what the synonyms. We may say widely accepted, practice also, favored also, common also or usual also. So, what is the common practice of British people, what is their common hobby? Of course, fishing is their common hobbies of British people. See, hobbies differ on the basis of individual preferences and cultural inspiration. As I said already, dear student, fishing is must favor hobby in England, whereas in demand hobby in China is hiking. I again discussed this. Now, what are the common hobbies? The first one is reading. 
Do you like reading? Of course, we are students. We must like reading the books. Reading is one of the most popular hobbies across many cultures. It is not only a fun activity, but a way of improving yourself. Whether you read to get information or be entertained, there is undoubtedly a book for you as you have got a variety of genres to choose from. What do you mean by genres? Genres, a style or category of art music or literature. Uh, genre means it is a style or category of art or it can be defined as musical sometimes but which is related to literature, vidha in Nepali, right? So, uh, you understood this paragraph very well. So, why do we read? Of course, we read to develop our knowledge, cognitive power, improving ourselves collecting a varieties of information. So, people have the hobby of reading. So, look at the picture. What these two people are doing? They are reading. They are busy on reading the books. See? So, I also encourage to read the books, dear student. Another thing that makes reading a book an exciting hobby is that you don't require any special gear compared to most other hobbies. We don't need any, we don't need any things, any special things comparing to other hobbies. For example, when uh, we have the hobbies of playing cricket, we need some documents, we need some uh, materials, playing materials, bat, ball, yes or no. But Simply when we have book, we can read. Simply I head to your local library or download some PDFs. Yeah, we may go to the library sometimes to read the books or we browse internet and then download some books from the internet and they may be the very appropriate resources for us to read the books. If you are looking to connect with new people or share your reviews, you can join a book club. Right? This is what the book club. So, if you are interested to read the books, you can join in the book club. You can visit the book club and then you can choose the books and then read whatever you like. If you are looking to connect with the new people or share your reviews, you can join a book club. The best part about making reading your hobby is that you can have fun anywhere. So, reading creates fun to the people. Reading book ex uh, excels everyone's cognitive capacity. As I said, we find reading books either from local library or by downloading some PDFs and share our reviews from book club. See, have you ever been to the library and then read the books from the library? Yes, I encourage you to go to the library and read the books. So, reading is one of the best interesting hobby of the people. Now, second one is dancing. Do you like dancing? Yes, almost everyone likes dancing. Almost everyone loves dancing when, uh, even when some of us are terrible dancers. Just put some music on and let your body feel and move to the beat. No wonder dancing is one of the most popular hobbies today. Dancing can help you improve your flexibility and mobility. As a physical activity, it is also an excellent way to let off excess energy and steam. Plus, it is an enjoyable form of exercise. You can simply have phone dancing around your living room or take it up a notch by joining a dance studio. Or you can take some online dancing courses. So, what do you mean by mobility here? Yes, 
the ability to move or be moved freely and easily flexibility so dancing supports us to develop our uh, dancing supports us to develop our physical fitness as well to move around the places similarly notes a v-shaped indentation that means a slot see these are the pictures of dancing this is what a notch it looks like v-shaped indentation it is a slot so many people they like dancing they prefer to dance right so we also like to watch dancing it's a very interesting hobby of the people did you understand yes now next one is collecting antiques collecting antiques has become a passionate hobby for lots of people as a result more people around the world are starting to appreciate world and quality items if you have an eye for tasteful decor collecting antiques may be for you the older the better plus you never know that you never know what treasure and years of stories you may find right you can also make a hobby out of refurbishing and renewing world furniture look at what do you see in this picture very beautiful decoration with lot of antiques yes or no so what do you mean a passionate having showing or caused by strong feelings or beliefs or ego this means passionate and appreciate respect or admire so if we have the habit of collecting antiques people may admire us so collecting antiquity antiques collecting antiques supports us to decorate our apartment okay rooms so people may have the habit of collecting antiques as well refurbishing means renovate redecorate when we collect the antiques we redecorate the rooms where we live we redecorate our apartments we re innovate the apartments or place where we live so this is what another passionate very very uh, interesting and admirable hobbies of the people first one is reading second one is what dancing third one third one is collecting antiques collecting antiques is one of the most important hobby of the people across the globe people collect world and quality items to decorate their apartment of course as i said when we collect the varieties of antiques we decorate our apartments is that clear student good next one is painting how often uh, do you paint the picture sometimes we paint the picture and do you like painting of course everyone likes painting painting allows you to be creative it supports us to be creative relaxed and expressive simply walk down to any art supply store buy some paints and brushes and you are good to go you don't have to be a great uh, painter start simply and paint whatever comes to your mind what could be more therapeutic you can decide to paint on an easel or go for wild with murals your choice there are some words uh, i have listed here vocabulary expressive effectively conveying thought or feeling striking this can be the synonyms of this word therapeutic relating to the healing of disease or remedial easel a wooden frame or mount 
murals, a painting or other work of art executed directly on a wall. For example, see you can uh, painting, these are the pictures of painting, see how beautifully the, this picture is painted. This is what therapeutic, okay, related to what, uh, medical science, okay, the word is related to medical science. Similarly, this is what, easel, a wooden frame or mount, you may see in the picture. And third one is murals, a big picture, which we can paste it on the wall. We draw it and paste it on the wall. This is known as murals. So painting is another interesting hobbies of the people. Now the next one is photography. Do you like photography? Of course we like photography. Can we make photography as our common hobby? Of course. When you get a break, take your phone a camera, walk to a park and take pictures. You do not have to be a pro photographer or have the best gear in the market to pick up this rewarding hobby. All you need is a good eye, a camera or a smartphone and a good understanding of basic photography skills like lightning, depth and exposure. We don't need anything else. If we have the hobby of photography, we can simply take out our smartphone, whatever we have, and we can just click it. The best part of the photography hobby is that you can preserve up memories and have beautiful pictures on your walls. Look at this picture. Have you ever seen this picture? Of course, sometimes we do it, right? What do you mean by exposure? The state of having no protection from something. So photography is another interesting hobbies of the people. And some people they make photography as their occupation professions as well. Look at this is what the exposure, the picture of exposure, exposing something. Are you with me, student? Good. Dear student, writing is another common hobby of the people. Writing is one of the most popular hobbies that people enjoy because of the freedom. People write everything and anything from how they spend their day to new recipes, writing journals to keep track of your daily activities is also a great way to handle stress, relax and boost productivity. Studies show that the world's most successful people keep journals. Also if you feel the need to share your knowledge on a particular topic or niche, feel free to write a blog. It's always a great way to express yourself and connect with people of like minds. And you could also try writing a book or poem. It does not have to feel major before you write it down. So writing is another common hobby of the people. When we are free, we write journals sometimes, we write poems sometimes, we write stories sometimes. Have you done that dear student? So we should make writing as a hobby. So meaning of Nietzsche, a comfortable or suitable position in life or employment or ideal position. The synonym of this word is ideal position. And a blog, a regularly updated website or web page. How often do you write something in a blog? So if you don't have the practice of writing in a blog, so please make your habit and make your hobby to write something on a blog. So when we are free, we write journals, we write stories, we write poems. And it is another very interesting common hobbies of the people. Okay. Next one is knitting. What is the next hobby of the people? Knitting. 
Do you know knitting, dear student? Yes, knitting is also one of the rewarding common hobbies. Knitting gives you the chance to make good use of your free time while improving your winter wardrobe and making gifts for your family and friends. You can knit mittens, gloves that means, hats, scarves and blankets to keep yourself warm when it is cold. It also gives you the opportunity to exercise your hands and improve your coordination. The best part is that you can knit on the bus while watching your favorite shows, listening to music or even hanging out with friends. Look at the picture. People are busy and knitting, isn't it? So it is also a very rewarding and common hobbies. And knitting gives us the chance to make good use of what? Of our free time while improving uh, our winter wardrobe, when we feel cold, we knit the warm clothes and keep it in the wardrobe. Sometimes we knit gloves, hats, scarves and blankets. And it also supports us to exercise our hand. And we knit when we are on the bus. Sometimes uh, when we knit the clothes or warm clothes or any types of clothes uh, watching favorite shows on TV, similarly listening music as well and so on. So see meaning of wardrobe, a large tall cupboard in which clothes may be hung or stored, rack where we keep our clothes and hanging out to spend a lot of time in a place or with someone. This is what the meaning of hanging out. Dear student, did you understand the common hobbies and interests of the people? Now, if yes, let me write some of them. Can you please share us now? Good. A. Reading. Yes, writing. You are right. Dancing, of course you are right. Photography, yes. You can write some other common hobbies in your exercise book. Is that clear? Reading, writing, dancing, photography, collecting antiques, knitting and many more. These are what? The common hobbies. See, let me summarize this reading one of common hobbies and interest this way. Look at the screen. Reading, collecting antiques, photography, writing, uh, sorry, watching television, writing, knitting, cooking. Yes, cooking also can be uh, the common hobbies of the people. Do you like cooking or not? Of course, we like cooking. We go to the kitchen and we support our parents to cook the food items. Watching TV, of course, nowadays, uh, you love watching television and you like to watch cricket match, isn't it? Yes, jogging also sometimes, dancing, painting, diving. These are what the common hobbies. Did you understand student? I believe you understood well. And I would like to ask you and assign you a task to read and write 
at least a page of your one common hobbies. Will you do that? Thank you so much and see you in the next class. Namaste.